I have a feeling that the tea that we drink in India is not exactly the tea. It's mostly the, the sugar syrup. As you know, I have nothing against drink, adding a little bit of milk in it. It's not a problem. But if you add a lot of sugar, sugar should never be part of the healthy lifestyle. Probably you know it very well. And you, you might think that the tea is, well, it's part of the cultural asset of India. No, it is not that case. Tea has been brought up from China by the Britishers in you know 18th century it is not really a typical Indian drink per se so uh, you know Camellia sinensis is the scientific name of the tea tea do contain a lot of you know phenolics as well as antioxidants you might know it catechins as well but these molecules are highly sensitive to you know the temperature so the the usual brewing method of boiling the milk for you know a couple of minutes and putting a lot of sugar the sugar sugar laden drink it's not healthy at all and the whole health benefit of the tea is getting gone if you just make the masala chai you know the indian style of making the tea to preserve all the antioxidants as well as the nutritional benefit of the tea the best method is what the japanese used to follow having lived in japan for five years i can assert you i can tell you that that method is really works fantastic and if you probably if you drink the the real green tea perhaps you might not like it so you really need to drink a little bit uh, more often to accustom with that you know the little bit of bitterness of the tea that offer but of course you can control finally with different kinds of brewing method that i'm going to introduce so what is actually the uh, the you know what can you buy i mean what kind of tea can you buy so if you buy like for example i have this here tunings it's a very famous British brand. So if you buy the tunings, uh, this is called Earl Grey tea. Of course, there are different kinds of tea, flavored teas are available. For example, Orange Peco, you know, or Chamomile or Earl Grey. There are, you know, hundreds of different flavors. So if you look this, you know, of course, this is not the cheap tea. It's quite expensive. And if you turn back and read that fine print, you know, very uh, small, letters you know that the font size is quite low if you read it carefully it says that bergamot flavoring synthetic chemicals three percentage so three percentage of each tea bag contains simple synthetic chemical flavoring substances which is not good for your health not good for your uh, environment as well you know so how to do that how can you trust the brand so even the twinnings is perhaps the most one of the most expensive brands still it contains a lot of sugar so uh, a lot of flavors the chemical synthetic flavors so you know well we do get lots of uh, so-called organic in india organic tea organic uh, india tea you know whatever it is or only leaf that is another brand which i would like to introduce you to it again i'm highly skeptical for example this is another uh, the brand that, which i just told you this is called only leaf it is sold in amazon I brought it uh, to see to check it out how how it is you know of course I'm a good uh, you know the top reviewer they send me to test it and to review the the only leaf you can read my review in the Amazon as well so if you read the pack carefully you can see that it is they claim it to be the organic but if you read it most people do not do it you know so I suggest you before buying a life insurance policy or health insurance policy or the policy for your car whatever it is you know or even the cr simple credit card just read it carefully what is in the fine print if you read the caref the, the fine print clearly says that it contains synthetic chemical flavoring substances nature identical flavoring substances. it's not good not at all good all right forget it so if you open it let, let me open this this is this the, this is called jasmine green all right so if i open it it's basically it's sachet so this sachet is what you have to dip inside your cup and put the boiling water that is uh, the usual way to prepare a nice cup of coffee or tea so this sachet if you look at this is nothing but plastic and it's more or less like highly very easy to degrade and it definitely leads out a lot of microplastics when you pour in boiling water so i strongly recommend avoid it because you what you're going to drink is nothing but uh, you know a, a liquid with leached out plastics in it microplastics in it and we really don't know what are the potential health impact of the microplastics on your health so if you get this kind of cough, uh, the tea and unfortunately you cannot do anything with that because this is 
of course if you pour in the water uh, the hot water the plastic is going to melt and it's going to mix with your tea it's the same uh, thing that if you ever travel in Indian railways you know never get the tea in their own cups always carry a steel mug or whatever the mug a silicon mug is what I like because it's very lightweight and you can fold it so if you take the cup of tea or coffee in their mug you know these disposable whatever the paper even if it's paper it has a fine layer of plastics in it and if you pour a hot liquid in it the plastics melt and what you drink definitely have a lot of plastics in it do avoid it now if you have this kind of thing so what is the only option you can just cut off the, the sachet and put it and you can brew it in the normal coffee brewing method which I suggested you so that is the uh, one of the best option so of course other you know this is another thing the only leaf of the chamomile green and this is also says the same thing if you read it carefully it says that contains nature identical synthetic chemical flavoring substances so you know this is not a good option so my best option is that if you want to drink a nice cup of green tea you can get just pure green tea without any flavors the brand which I like of course you know it depends on you also it is called Vedaka it's not that expensive it's available in Amazon too it is just pure green tea there is nothing else in it at least that is what they claim because I don't want any flavors you know why should you go for a, a, a additional flavor so if you just want a green tea this sachet is perfectly fine because it's not really uh, you know this is <coughs> this is basically the cloth you know this is what the tata tea uh, whatever the tea that you buy it need not be green tea as well just go with English breakfast tea but the point is that it should not have any synthetic flavoring substances so this is just a cloth one so the, the my brewing method which I learned from Japan is that for a perfect cup of green tea just put it and pour uh, not so you know boiling water the ideal temperature is 75 to 85 I would say 82 in my experience 82 degrees Celsius is works the best so how do you know that it's exactly 82 if you have a thermometer of course you can measure it otherwise boil it and keep it for a while or before boiling when the, the steam start coming out you know wait for 15 seconds and stop it that is my method so when steam start coming out wait for 15 seconds and stop it so that would be approximately 80 to 85 degrees so this is what this when I stored it in this it was 85 so it should be around 82 right now so all you have to do is just pour it in and And you set your timer that's very important so the timer has to be five minutes so not really nine minutes for the coffee it's nine minutes is my style but again it depends on your tastes you know there is nothing like standard five minutes so five minutes have got the, the full flavor of the coffee leached into the you know the liquid the water so if you brew for less for example three minutes then it's going to be very mild light tea so if you want more stronger then you can go for maybe six to eight minutes but it's gonna be a bit more bitter so five minutes is just perfect in my case so it depends on you as well so that is how to brew you know a nice green tea of course you can dash the green tea with uh, uh, you know a piece of lime or lemon and there are of course evidence-based studies that says that adding lemon or lime squeezed on to the green tea helps on its absorption because it is a chelating agent it chelates you know it binds with the catechins and it helps to metabolize it much better I don't prefer with any of this one I, I like just pure green tea that the taste is heavenly you know after coffee I like tea so I, I tend to make a lot of variations as well the kind of taste that I have it of course green tea is nice by itself you can also have your own taste as well for example this is what I, I made it this is a mix of various kinds of spices and just I just buy the green tea not the sachet the, the just the normal green tea you can buy it the leaf it has to be leaf you know the green tea leaf is always better by the way you can also buy the normal tea also the fermented tea you know the black tea that's also perfectly fine how about white tea 
you might remember you might wonder what is this white tea that campaign is all about it's a scam don't fall into it there is no special health benefit of the white tea and many people say kombucha that is you know that is salty tea kombucha again that is you know mostly it is a scam or uh, you know it is a fake stuff so there is nothing like a magical health benefit of the kombucha maybe it is mostly it's a placebo effect if you see the, the news if you follow the news and one of my friend has recently asked me what is the secret of uh, weight loss i'm uh, seeing a lot of advertisement that if you drink green tea it's very good for the weight loss wrong that is also a fake campaign you know it is nothing but a propaganda it's just misinformation green tea is good for because it contains antioxidant that's it don't extrapolate to say that the green tea is magical you know it is uh, it's an amulet it can actually make you fantastic you can lose the weight or it prevents hell lot of disease no that is incorrect just enjoy a cup of nice tea that's it and uh, this one i mixed up with dried uh, tulsi as well as cinnamon cloves everything you know whatever you like the taste it depends upon it so in in my case i mixed with tulsi it's, it's basically it's a green tea mixed with cloves and the, the dried tulsi and cinnamon you know and uh, that's that's a very good option to have it so how do you brew the the the, uh, the tea if you have this kind of loose loose tea so it's actually very simple all you have to do is just get five that is my standard one five gram or a, a teaspoonful of it this is a basically it's a tablespoon not the teaspoon you know and just put that into into your uh, the french press this is the same french press you can use it so i suggest you if you have two french presses better one uh, you know earmark only for the tea and another one just for the coffee so that the flavors won't mix up you know so i just put one you know scoop that is nothing but five grams and um, you know i just close it by the way the tea is not that prone for oxidation just like in the coffee the coffee is really prone because of the surface area is a lot higher so tea is just fine you know any kind of container is okay and if you mix it up also it's absolutely fine no problem but never the coffee so once you have this just pour it you know the 300 ml and well i don't want to pour right now because my my teas are already ready so after pouring just push it i will save this later after 2 hours i'm going to have this very perfect cup of tea so then as i told you just push it once the time is up and enjoy relish a perfect cup of tea so my tea is ready let me let me give a try as you sure i always smell it nice very nice full of flavor and it's really you know delicious i i can say that so by the way so if you want to stop the brewing process you can just remove it once the time is up but i like to have it with that as well you know it can seep in the additional flavors the only caveat is that uh, you know when uh, as you take more and more sips of tea the tea gets stronger so it starts from mild and it goes all the way to the strong after some time so i like it so it is not just bland just same taste but the taste differs with each sip that you take it i think it's a it's a very good way to have it So by the way what will you do with after the tea you know that this kind of like tea sachet you have the tea sachet right so how will you do what will you do with this tea sachet or if you have the normal tea so what will you do with the leftover tea grains or tea leaves or tea dust so let me enjoy the last sip of the green tea so the way i enjoy my green tea is the so called gratitude uh, meditation so i think about the green tea farmers the tea tea garden workers 
and their emotions and their work you know and their life so usually they are daily wage workers right they are earning pittance but they are happy so think about them and each sip that you relish be thankful about them their work and because of them you are drinking it thanks to them right so that is the gratitude so i express my deep gratitude to those farmers and factory workers assembly line factory workers behind this packing industry everything so i think that's a very good option uh, you know when you drink uh, the the tea uh, you know just meditate on to it and live in the present moment rather than let your mind wander about worries or anxieties what comes in future or what comes uh, behind you let past do not trouble you or wax you while drinking a nice cup of tea or even coffee very nice very delicious all right so now we are left with these tea bags so what will you do with these tea bags so mostly you throw it out in the dustbin that's not a viable solution that's not environmentally friendly you know of course this is biodegradable that's not a problem with the environment but still you can use it in a more better way so it's a wiser way so what i do is that i cut off this this one so it's very simple it's just one cut on the top so i cut it and then you will get this tea a tea bag so basically you can open it so once you open it you are going to have a kind of a tube like structure so it is a hollow tube basically so the inside the tube there is a uh, the tea in it so carefully split open this tube so as you can see it's split open the tube so how do you get out all this stuff so get a water a glass of water and just dip it inside that's my trick so once you have it so a couple of times uh, if you dip it the entire tea is taken out of this you know so as you can see this is all now over so the tea is mixed up in this water so let us do for the rest as well <coughs> i cut open and then i take out like this and then this hollow tube i you know i split the two sides carefully see now i just have to dip inside three four times perfect so what will you do with this now so as you know this is an excellent manner it's a good fertilizer so if you have a plant or if you have a small vegetable garden you can just put inside so instead of buying expensive uh, um, fertilizers you can just use this one and if you have uh, a rose plant of course you know this actually in my experience it actually uh, makes a rose plant invigorates the rose plant i can say it's nothing but a, a nice fertilizer so that's a that's a good use instead of simply throwing out so instead of using the sachet if you simply use the french press so like the coffee grounds we have seen the coffee grounds is a very good uh, deodorant so the tea ground so the tea you know the leaf uh, left over you can use it in the same fashion for fertilization so i think that is the best option for the tea uh, you know if you like tea or if you like me at some point of the day you like to relish a, a, a nice cup of tea then this is the best option rather than simply throwing out into the waste so uh, having minimizing the waste as much as possible is one of the very important uh, trick to reduce your carbon footprint and to live a lifestyle which is more or less uh, as environmentally friendly and as environmentally sustainable as possible by minimizing the waste so if you are a consumerist if you are leading that kind of lifestyle you simply use and throw it in your dustbin every single morning if you take out with lots and lots of waste that's not at all a friendly option so the best option is simply buy the green tea leaves in the tea bag not the sachet 
and then you know you can uh, use the leftover as a fertilizer with zero waste but if you are using this kind of tea bags as I told you this method works fine I hope you enjoyed this video so the take home message of this video is that you know never throw away the tea waste so you can use it as a good fertilizer also never buy the flavored tea the flavored anything flavored contains artificial flavor even if the brand say it is organic certified organic still it can contain a lot of flavors as I, as I told you even twinnings contains mostly synthetic flavoring substance that is not a good option and the Indian style of uh, tea making of course you can enjoy once in a while but that is not really healthy because it contains a hell lot of sugar and milk you know the milk is fine but the sugar is not at all good you know so tend to avoid as much as possible the usual tea and instead brew yourself a nice cup of green tea as I do every day thanks for watching I hope you liked it and if you like it please like this video